Bro, this is sad. This is really, really sad, man. Twice in less than a week. Joe Biden freezes up again, guys. This man, 81 years old, froze up again. Now, this was at a uh, a big fundraiser for him. Jimmy Kimmel and Barack Hussein Obama. Joe Biden is on stage, man. And then all of a sudden. His arms just freeze in place. So body, really, to tell you the truth. This man is confused about where he is. I think that's pretty clear, guys. He had to be led off stage by Barack Hussein Obama. You mean to tell me, guys, that Joe Biden can't even walk off stage by himself? We saw what happened at um, G7, man. He started wandering off. And the White House started doing cover for him. This man does not know where he is, man. But they're going to will this man out there to go up against Donald Trump. And I really do hope, guys, that uh, Joe Biden, to be honest with you, is the Democrat nominee. I hope so. Because I believe he's going to get embarrassed this November. I mean, you people that vote Democrat, man, please tell me, why are you voting for Joe Biden? What does Joe Biden have to offer to you? I'm very curious about that, because if you guys have been paying attention for the past four years, man, things have gotten a lot worse than under Donald Trump. People are actually starting to look back now and say, man, those Trump years, man, pretty good. But of course, the left man, they're running cover for Joe Biden. All of the major problems here in this country. They're not putting on uh, Joe Biden. They're not doing it. Now, it definitely does kind of seem, I should say a little bit, that maybe there is a plan to dump, dump Joe Biden. Because he is starting to get some negative press, even from the mainstream media. Not a lot, just a little. Some people believe that Joe Biden won't be the nominee. But I think at the end of the day, he probably will be, man. We need to go over this video, guys. It is embarrassing, man. Embarrassing. Let's get into this. Make sure you guys like this video. Subscribe to the channel. Become a channel member. Member live stream every single Friday at 10 a.m. Central Standard Time. If you watch on Rumble, click the join button to get access to the same thing. So here we go, guys. Biden appears to freeze up has to be led off stage by Obama at Megabucks L.A. fundraiser. Yeah, Joe Biden couldn't even leave the stage by himself. Now, if you're Joe Biden or Obama, I should actually say. You're thinking, man, we did. We at least did raise a whole bunch of money. I believe that you did raise a lot of money. But they want Joe Biden for another four years. And this man can't even. Stand up without freezing. Wow, that's almost like a Mitch McConnell type of moment. Now, Mitch McConnell on the Republican side, we know that he's actually uh, leaving um, leadership. McConnell had that moment, man, where he just froze up, couldn't answer a question. And McConnell is roughly like the same age as um, Joe Biden. Something is wrong, man, with Joe Biden. And I believe that the mainstream media actually knows this, too. But they're out there trying to say that uh, Trump is not um, mentally um, capable anymore. They're trying to put him on the same levels like Joe Biden. No, we know that's not true. Anyway, it says here. Beijing Biden appeared to freeze up on stage and had to be led off by Barack Obama at the conclusion of a star studded campaign fundraiser in Los Angeles Saturday night. The awkward moment took place after Biden and his predecessor set for a 45 minute interview with late night host Jimmy Kimmel. Now, I'm wondering who was actually doing most of the talking. Was it Obama or was it Biden? Something's telling me guys, it was probably Obama. Why did Obama even have to really be there answering questions? Isn't Joe Biden supposed to be in charge? Just asking. As the men as the men stood for a clause. Biden's gaze seemed to be 
become fits on the crowd for a full 10 seconds until former President Barack Obama took his wrist and led him off stage. Let's go ahead and I'll watch this clip, guys. It's only 42 seconds. 42 seconds, man. And, um, well, let's just roll it. So right there, you can actually see Joe Biden. He's clapping. Barack Obama thumbs up and then, bam, right here. Biden has that look on his face. He's confused. And he's just frozen. And Obama has to walk this man off stage. And his arms are like still frozen in place. Wow. This isn't the first time, man, we've seen something like this. Unbelievable, man. Unbelievable. The man had another moment in front of the world. I mean, this is sad, man. This is sad. Even in this article here on the New York Post, they even bring up the G7 summit. But Joe Biden was just just lost, man. He was lost. This is almost the same kind of thing that Mitch McConnell uh, dealt with on several occasions where he just froze up. Like he was at the podium. He was just holding the podium. And ask him, um, did you hear the question? Uh, do, do you need us to repeat it or whatever? He's like, no. Then he said, we need a moment. Wow, just imagine, man, if during the debate, this happens to Joe Biden. Imagine that. Imagine if that actually happens during a debate with Trump, man. Joe Biden is definitely done. I believe he's cooked already. I really, really do. I wish there was actually an audience at this debate. But now I can't have an audience, man. Can't have an audience. Someone's telling me, man, that um, Joe Biden's handlers and um, the Democrat Party, they're probably worried. They're probably worried about Joe Biden not being able to function. And we know that um, Donald Trump wants a drug test before um, the debate. Probably not going to happen. I mean, they've already agreed to the terms. I'm pretty sure a drug test was not in the cards. Wow, guys. Wow. That's just my thoughts on this. What do you guys think of this? Black and white network fans, let us know what you think about all this in the comments. Make sure you subscribe to the channel. And we'll catch you next time.